everyone, welcome back to another episode of Haas. Now, on a survival today, we return to Boys and Girls Days of Jumping in today. And boom! The secret to the cellars has been revealed. What you guys are seeing over here is the cipher that was posted by Kafir earlier. And with it, it says, Greetings, survivors. The lab assistant is on the line as the scientist is missing. Soon you'll have to search for him and a bunch of jazz like that. Long story short, it is detailing a cipher, which is something that every single time this comes out, it means a multitude of things. Number one, the next update is extremely close. And number two, it details something about that very next update. And this cipher has actually been cracked, as you guys are seeing right here. And the message that this cipher was deciphered into is it's damp, scary, and cold. Light and darkness play double games down there. And once you go down inside, you'll see the inscription, Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. So what is it? This damp, scary, and cold place. Then we are entering, well, it has to be some sort of a future update from the roadmap and from everything that we know about the roadmap. We know that there is a basement dungeon update making its way towards us from something that the Kafia staff have been saying about Last Day on Earth and about this basement update. It is slated that this update they are aiming for it to release this month. There is currently about one week left in this month and let's also compound with the fact that whenever a cypher is released it usually means that that update is extremely close with all of this jazz coming together this is pretty much a confirmation that the basement update is likely going to be coming sometime this week not technically speaking today is saturday so when i say that i guess i should say more so within the next week or so because it is currently what the 22nd of june and june ends on june 30th so long story short Pretty much this next week is likely, since Kafir for the most part does not drop updates on the weekends, likely within this upcoming week is when we can expect these basement updates. And a holy guacamole! I cannot wait to dive into these basements and see all that they have to offer. There's been so much being teased with them. There's so much that they're gonna add. They are likely going to have a variety of layouts and be like procedurally generated to an extent and like have random elements to it and stuff like that from all the different photos that we have seen. There are like just so many different layouts that we have seen going along with them and to go along with that in case you guys have not seen there are also still these images of these zombies that they have teased and i guess we're going to use this as a little bit of a recap kind of to go over a lot of the stuff that we do know about the basement since the cypher is like the final kind of notice of coming that the update is near besides literally an announcement saying hey the update is out go and download it the cypher is like the closest thing we have to that pretty much and it is interesting because a couple of thursday development sections ago as you guys know every thursday could here does reveal some new info they did reveal these zombies over here and here's the thing these zombies have yet to be added we actually broke this down when these were first originally broken down but there's a great chance that these zombies will be found in the basements as well because well one of them has like a freaking gas mask or something on and i feel like a gas mask is something they could definitely come across some very dangerous gases down below in the depths of some caverns and basements and fallout shelters since it is kind of to an extent a fallout shelter because it's kind of going to if you look at the image of the roadmap from the teaser of it it does appear that it's going to be like the basement of a wrecked a house or something you come across and with this being like an entirely just like new subsection of like location like this is a location that we're going to be able to enter from another location it's like you're going to add like a whole nother level to stuff and with new locations we oftentimes do encounter new enemies and these two new zombies that they have teased we have yet to see come in any sort of an update but they do appear like they will very much so fit the bill of new zombies that could be introduced in this area because the one guy has the gas mask and caverns are definitely an area where dangerous gases it can be encountered and the other fella appears to be blind and there was actually some information released a while back about some supposed blind hunter zombie and this could potentially be that blind hunter zombie and what better place for a zombie to develop into like a blind hunter than in the damp scary and cold areas known as revealed from the cypher as the basements and to go along with this I have seen some questions like star but where are we going to find these basements where are these basements going to be found and as we saw from the roadmap and the little image of the roadmap it appears that they're going to be like the basements of like destroyed homes or something like that so the question is okay where will we find these destroyed homes will they be like an event that we come across somewhere and this is actually where we need to look towards a game known as frostborn another one of kafir's games where they have a function very similar to the basements so they kind of have 
has some randomly to an extent generated basements in their game and the way that these basements are found are in yellow zones and up in their yellow and red zones you can come across these little hatches that bring you down into the basement now this is something that we have seen quite a little bit with a lot of features oftentimes we will see a feature kind of like initially begin to make its way in like one mobile survival game and then like it will kind of like start to appear in other mobile survival games this goes for games like westland survival grim soul survival this is stuff that we have seen in a variety of kafir games and other mobile survival games out there that are all running on this last day on earth engine that last day on earth runs on and that's where the frostborn thing becomes very interesting because that's likely a little bit of a tease as to how it's going to be encountered so likely we'll be able to in yellow zones and up come across that kind of like abandoned like destroyed looking house like we see in the image of the roadmap there will be a hatch that we can go down and then similar to how it works in frostborn we will be able to make our way down into that basement it's going to be randomly generated to an extent we get to explore through find some pretty dang good loot and take down likely some of those new zombies and have some cool stuff going on from there but with that said with that done that's gonna wrap it up for the new information that we got coming to you guys today and that cypher man is some exciting information to say the least because again like we are saying it does mean a lot more because as we have seen in a variety of times in the past the cypher oftentimes does signify that it's talking about the very next update and oftentimes the update that it's talking about is ridiculously close usually when the cypher has been released we have gotten like the update that it talks about within a week pretty dang consistently like i cannot remember the last time a cypher was released about an update and then it took like more than a week for that update to come out so from using past precedents and stuff like that basements in this upcoming week are something that i am feeling pretty confident about and i cannot wait to go and dive away into but in the meantime today we're gonna be diving away into a raid but first things first in order to get that raid popping off we got to use a blue ticket crate and while we're over here might as well use some green ticket crates and while we're over here might as well blow through a ton of guns and kill a ton of zombies through the police station yard before advancing our way towards that raid and have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time with that but definitely let me know what you guys do think about the basements what are you looking forward to what do you think is going to be found there any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below i would absolutely love to hear from y'all and especially what you guys think about all these like frostborn connections going on some of this other jazz regarding like these potential zombies that we could be seeing down there because again these zombies these were teased they seem like zombies that could be found in dark cold dank places and i mean we haven't found them yet to so. show like they could have very well been added in the last multiplayer sector 7 update where we got like all sorts of couple of new zombies over in the sector 7 zones but that wasn't the case so they got to be added somewhere else and this is seriously shaping up like it could be that location where we find that and that's what makes these basement updates even cooler man it looks like it's getting bigger and bigger and oh i like what i see over there let's go ahead and pop through some of these green tickets oh the green ticket crates are treating us well we're doing pretty dang good and two melee weapons and two pistols is pretty fuego but the question is how good will the loot be in the blue ticket crate oh no way me no way me no way me give me the goods no way me no way me no way me let's go one shot good raid one m16 a couple of factory parts gun oil high-tech components the whole shebang i like what i'm seeing and i'm gonna go ahead and toss on our military armor while we go and deal with some of these zombies making our way through here try to god dang it i was gonna try to take you out nice sneak attack way but no you just wanted to get sawed in half via my saw blade mace i understand a lot of people want to get sawed in half very common occurrence so uh, i'm more than happy to oblige and see you later to slice you later and then we'll go and get a little bit of saw blade mace action on that feller hit him with the slow-mo and finish him off because he is protecting a pretty valuable thank you for the card over there locker here that might actually have some grenades that i definitely want to sink my teeth into come on baby show me what you got no way me no way me no way me hey and a card too that's what i like to see locker numero two do you have nothing really too impressive for me that's a-ok -okay. but dude i am a fan of what we got out of here we seriously had some dang good luck in terms of some of the guns that we got and i always see people saying like star why do you say green tickets are better than blue tickets let me just say boys and girls okay here's the thing why should you not trade in your blue or your green tickets for blue tickets first things first a blue ticket costs 10 green tickets this is what a blue ticket crate gave us okay this swat armor is mine by the way we got a full set of military armor first off you get swat armor out of the green 
ticket crates. The fact that you'll be able to, I mean, you can get military armor too, but you do get SWAT armor, which does make it a little bit more valuable. And look at all these components you get. We're getting carbon composite. We're getting steel plates. We're getting aluminum. We're getting aluminum plates. We're getting lenses. We're getting all sorts of valuable components for weapon mods and common weapon mods, which are oftentimes more realistic to craft. Over here, like you technically get better weapons. Like we got a shotgun and M16 and I like, we got a mod too. But besides that, like, it's not like, I feel like 10 ticket, 10 green ticket crates can just proportionally give you a lot better stuff, especially if your luck is good, because these crates that we open here that gave us two pistols, well, first off, we're opening 10 of those, there's a great chance that we could get 10 potential weapons instead of these two, and number two, there is a chance we get a shotgun, there is a chance we get an M16 out of that, so all in all, a lot of good things adding up, but for now, let's just go ahead and start grabbing some of these things, because I definitely do plan on putting these bad boys to use. Oh, you too, my friend. Don't think you're evading me, Mr. Carbon Composite, because the police station is still one of my favorite places to go to try and collect a lot of those things that we do need for our weapon mods that we are always trying to build up and improve and see you later. I'll put that away. I'll put that away. Pick that up. And there we go. I'm feeling pretty happy with how that jazz is looking. But like I'm saying, definitely know what you guys do think about the bases. What do you think about those potential zombies making their way into the basements? Do you think they will be found down there? Or do you think they'll be found somewhere else? What do you think about the way that the basements are going to work from some of these hints that we are seeing from the stuff that we have seen from other games, just past precedents and stuff like that? What do you guys think about the whole, you know, potentially coming across these abandoned houses in yellow and up zones and then venturing down into the basements? I think that'd be really cool because like, if you think about it, it would definitely make yellow and red zones more exciting. And I am always down to try and make that jazz shot go to rain absolutely as exciting as possible. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of saw blade mace action on you and finish him off this way. God dang it. Don't whip out the shield. But uh, like I'm saying, let me know what you guys think about it in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. It's the Wiggy Trial Data. At two such place store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure that like button, make sure subscribe to that will enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be what up for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway because, in case you guys do not know, today is the first day you guys can enter in on that brand new weekly giveaway kicking off today because today we are announcing the winner from this past week's giveaway. And the new giveaway has already begun. That winner will be announced a little bit later in today's video. So make sure that you guys are staying tuned. It's going to be an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time leading up to it. And like I'm saying, you guys can already begin getting them entries in starting on today's video into the new weekly giveaway. They're kicking off today. And God dang it, let me just go ahead and shotgun rain you a little bit and see you later, hungry champa alligator. I'm getting a lot of tickets out of this, which is actually not too shabby. We'll go ahead and put a couple of things away and start preparing mentally for the hordes of zombies we now must sorry about the burp there oh baby sorry about the burp number two over there deal with and i'm gonna go and bring our swat armor over here as well but yeah you guys can enter it on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video just like we are today pick a random comment from that random video and that will be what for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so the new giveaway is kicking off today you guys can enter in on all those upcoming last day on earth videos which is again where that notification bell does come so very much in handy because that's how you can stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on a phone that we can give away not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely take a look ski doodle in case you have not already we're always trying to check out some of the dopest stuff out there if you guys like last day on earth there is a very good chance you are going to enjoy a lot of the other stuff going up on the channel because i'm a huge survival fan and trust me i love me my survival stuff we're always trying to check out the latest and greatest of that jazz and oftentimes we're checking out all sorts of things sometimes Sometimes they're free, sometimes they're mobile, sometimes they're all of the above, but oftentimes they are absolutely as fan freaking fantastic and dope as possible. So if there's a new game that you haven't seen on the channel before, go ahead and give it a look and it might be a game you fall in love with, might be a game you start playing on your own, or might be a game that you just start enjoying watching as a little bit of a series. So let's not forget either that the notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information. As soon as I type in new info, it does come out. We are spreading it. Chill guys, eyes and ears absolutely ASAP, making sure you are aware of what is going on and keeping you guys in the loop of Last Day on Earth. What is happening like for example with the cypher that was revealed today and we give you guys all the information regarding that jazz as well because a lot of people might not know that oftentimes that cypher does signify that the update is extremely near and that it kind of like talks about exactly what that update 
is going to contain so we are doing everything in our power to keep you guys as in the loop with that jazz as humanly possible you know connecting that information with any information already out there connecting that information with any stuff already within the game so give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth what to expect in the future when to expect the future what to expect in future updates when those future updates are going to come any and all that type of jazz and ah there is zombie officer on me i'm just trying to run away from you little bit so i can hit you with this slow motion and then hopefully deal with your brawling buddy over here because he's a little bit on the slowest side and i just want to kill him because he does a lot of damage oh there we go now he's dead and then we could just wait for this to regenerate a little bit we'll get that one last slow mo on the zombie officer and see you later officer i'm sorry i'm gonna need to see that badge definitely to not just turn in and get loot i'm reporting it to your superior your zombie superior is getting a complaint yeah, dingus. But as soon as a type of new update does come out as well, we are not just spreading the latest and greatest of information to you guys. As soon as a type of new update does come out, we are checking it out absolutely ASAP and showing off every single little thing that it does have to offer. New locations, new enemies, new anything. You name it. If there is something new going on in this game known as Last Day on Earth, we are checking it out and showcasing it off to the fullest extent. New locations, new enemies, new anything. You name it. Ah, oh, saw you have over there. And let's get to running away a little bit. But we're showing all that type of jazz off. Does not matter how hard it is. Does not matter how day. Oh, baby, let's get out. Of there does not matter how difficult it is does like if there's a new boss how hard it is to take that boss down does not matter how hard it is to clear a new location we're gonna be clearing it and using every single little bit of loot that we have available to us especially on this account where we have a huge loot stockpile i am more than willing to blow through see you later oh let's back up from that riot shield dude over there but i'm more than willing to blow through everything i have I don't care how many L's I got to take in the process. If I can show new things off and make sure you guys are aware, like for example, when that helicopter update comes out, we're going to be building that thing ASAP. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. We're going to be building it ASAP and making sure you guys know exactly how it works. Is it worth building? What are the best strategies for building it? What are the best strategies for trying to get it? All that type of jazz we will be showing off and it doesn't matter how many L's I got to take. I'll take a billion L's if one of you guys out there can catch one single W. I will lose as much as I can if it means I can help one of you guys catch a win. And that's is my journey, and god dang it, I'm gonna do whatever I can to fulfill it. Now, please put your shield down, Riot Zombie. I wanna saw you in half. You are so inconsiderate. Put it down. There you go. Was that so difficult? No. Now you're missing your legs. That's what you get. Maybe you would've kept the legs, but you're testing my patience, and that's what you get, bub. Alrighty then. I do need to start using our- We did bring the shotgun rain over here, too, as you guys may or may not see, and a bit of a grenade launcher. We got the big guns out to play, uh, because at some point, there should be some bigger waves starting to run up on us. And when that happens, we just run towards them and hit them with a little bit of that shotgun rain, and we get a ton of damage off on, like, all them dudes. And let's just try to start finishing them off slowly, but surely. Ah, uh, this stuff takes so long to regenerate, though, which kind of sucks, because I'd love- Dude- I wish if we had two shotguns and switched between them, the active skill mods would, like, regenerate independent of each other. But, all right, for now, we're just going to kite these dudes around a little bit more. Heal up, shotgun rain! Oh, no, someone's going to blow? No, he's actually just roaring. Well, you roar away over there, right? Do your best freaking Lion King impression. It's not going to save you from death. Because when you're dealing with me, hey, green ticket, death is inevitable if you're a little fang known as a zombie. On to the next one. We go as well. Let us begin. Did I put the shotgun away? Nope, I still got the shotgun. Shotgun rain. Let's get those blasts off on this guy. I'll saw you in half and beautiful, dude. This saw blade mace, I love it. This has seriously become like low key. One of my favorite active skill mods, man, because the saw blade mace is just such a versatile weapon. The range, the damage, especially if we got lucky and we had the melee damage boost that this thing offers sometimes. Oh, baby we'd be able to do some power swings with that but all right it has broken down unfortunately i will not use this pistol to try and finish the job on this riot zombie and off vitre saint do you my friend still getting some normal cards nothing too crazy if i could get one blue card out of this that would be a huge win like honestly if we brought a decent amount of weapons we should definitely be able to do a decent amount of damage but if we could get a blue card and get a little bit lucky, that would be amazing. But man, especially with these basements and just all the more that they're teasing about it, the fact that it looks like it's coming this freaking week, dude, I cannot wait to dive down there. We're gonna be going to the basement so freaking much. We're gonna be showing off everything they have to offer, any new enemies that might be down there, any new loot that we could potentially find down there. Like, dude, I want it all. I'm going to be exploring the bejesus out of it. I am about to be the Lewis and Clark of the basements of last day on earth okay that felt like yeah that's right call me basement lewis and clark baby but all right we got this next wave that we got to worry about send them in to that inevitable death Boop. big hits to you boys let's take out the brawlers a little bit there god dang it that brawler is like a little bit of health left you bub 
Oh my god, I got a deal. Come on. No, oh, I just want to kill the brawlers there really quick. They die quick. There we go. Just want to take them out. That that guy's starting to dance for some reason. I have no idea what he's up to. We got the explosive zombies. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, got a little bit close for my comfort there. We survived, as we always try to do. And I'll just finish this guy off with the pistol. I hate the zombie officers, man. They just have so much health to them and so much armor. They are annoying. I like the explosive guys because they die a little bit early. They go boom. Except when they boom on me. When they boom on me, I am sad, boy. But besides that, I am pretty happy, boy. Check it out. I kind of, you know what we might be able to do here? Get a little bit of a double wombo combo popping off. You see? We're going to hit these dudes with a little bit of that shotgun rain blast, first and foremost. A shotgun rain! And then I'm going to heal up a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Big hits on you. And that guy has like one health. Are you kidding me right, meow? So let's go ahead and get those guys going on the boom sickle real quick. And uh, I'll just finish you off with my bullets. That guy died, and now it's just time to kill the riot zombie. I will kill you with the usage of my most least powerful pistols. Boop. Dude, I love hitting him with the slow-mo. It just looks like he's moonwalking. That dude's going so slow. No one dropped the ticket! Oh, you betrayed me, game. How could you do this to me? Anyways, is our grenade recharged? Grenade takes a while to recharge, so not quite yet. Should be recharged kind of soon. Whatevs. On to the next one we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm supposed to be running towards them a little bit faster. Uh, shotgun rain. There we go. Marvelous, marvelous. Let's not die. Let's go and boom on you. Let's get out of there. We got some big damage being done. And I'll just finish these guys off with my bullets. That's about as effective as we need it to be. They dropped some stuff. Very nice. Very nice. We'll bring out the pistols and whatnot. Slow-mo on you. Let's get those bullets popping. And see you later, Riot Zombie. Thank you. A very oh green ticket can i get a blue ticket can i complete the rainbow because i don't think you can get a purple ticket unfortunately man i wish but eh we're doing all right in terms of our green skittle rainbow over here i just want the blue skittles man where the blue skittles at all righty then we got the ak we got the shotgun rain back let's definitely maybe try to get through like 15 waves or something here like i think we ought to be able to do a, a decent dent of damage if you ask me let's go and do that let's get out of there and i'll finish you dudes off and okay now we have two riot zombies to deal with Two of them, really? These are like some of the, like, genuinely in terms of like how many bolts you gotta pump into them. They're some of the toughest enemies in the game just because they have such high armor. Sometimes they put their shield up, they have such high health. Just talk about a nuisance. Oh, but they're dropping stuff. This might go good. Oh, not even the riots. Come on, the riot zombie's like the perfect zombie to have a blue card. They got a freaking riot shield. Like, you think just anyone gets a riot shield? I don't know, I'm not a police officer, so I couldn't tell you what it takes to get a riot shield, but I feel like it would not be the easiest task in the world, because riot shields are very nice. They protect you from death, as Sector 7 has taught us as well in our struggle trying to get a dang riot shield. Riot shields are definitely not the easiest things to get. I wish they were, but they're not. Anyways, onwards to infinity and beyond. Let's get a little bit of shotgun rain off on you. Let's heal up, get a little granata in there. Back it up, holy guacamole, we almost died from that. No! That explosive zombie, oh. He, 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 he almost baited us into that. But no, 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 not today, I say. We barely came prepared for that. All right, let's just keep going until maybe the shotgun and AK breaks. I reckon that might be our best wombo combo. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that ought to be fine. The shotgun should have a couple of blasts in it. Not crazy amount, maybe like 15 waves. I think that'll be a nice nombre. Let's get some damage off on these dudes. I'm just gonna try to kill this guy. There we go. Don't even want to deal with this boom. And continue doing some damage to them, but seriously, I cannot wait for those basements, guys. Oh, this upcoming week is going to be a hype one. My mouth should be, like, totally recovered by then, and when it is, I will be able to express the proper hype for what is going to be going on in that Let's Go update. Oh, baby. I hope I didn't yell too hard. My mouth isn't feeling any pain, but I also took my freaking uh, Tylenol or whatever I had to before to succumb the pain, so maybe we're good. Or maybe I'm dying on the inside, but I just, I'm too numb to tell. Who knows? Who knows? All right, though, that, that is literally what I was asking for, man. Honestly, if we could get, like, one more out of all of this, that would be absolutely glorious. If not, though, I won't complain. Boom. Let's take you guys out. We just got the brawler and the zombie guy. And all right, absolutely blew through that wave, and they only got one card out of it, but dude, using some of the active skill mods seriously makes these waves just glorious. But yeah, not just the basements, anything coming up. There's there's a lot of cool stuff, especially from the roadmap that we were seeing that is coming our way very soon, and uh, it's just a good time, man, because like the next single player update after this, like if I'm not mistaken, shouldn't it be? I'm just gonna get a little bit of separation here and try to deal with you guys like one by one, because there's a lot of you guys, wowzers. Okay, come on. I just, I, I gotta bait a couple of you guys into going boom here because uh, there's a lot of you guys trying to go boom on me and I don't want you to go boom on me. No booms allowed. Okay, okay. Glad that's been established. 
We get a couple more bolts off that way, but especially with that settler slash outpost update, because now from the roadmap, it appears that after this basement update comes our way next, we can also likely expect that the settler slash outpost update is the next single player update after that. That is also an incredibly hyped thing to be, oh, let's go hype about because obviously we're going to be trying to build the best, uh, whatchamacallit, settler slash, let's freaking go, the goods keep coming. The best, like, base imaginable in that fashion, if you guys don't know, the settler slash outpost update is going to literally be, like, a second base that we can start building somewhere else. It's going to be, like, an army base that we're going to be repairing and bringing it back to glory. And, obviously, like, likely having, like, the people that we had as mercenaries back during that one update, having those guys kind of serve as, like, settlers in a way where we might be able to, like, you know, assign them to different tasks and have them, like, follow us around and help us out. Like, the amount of incredibly cool things in the works is astonishing and... Dude, I cannot wait to be checking out every single little bit of it. But all right, enough hype about that. Let's spread some shotgun rain to these guys over here. Let's heal up a little bit. Let's go boom over there and kill the hungry chompers. This guy has 10 health. I will just punch him to death. See you later, chomper. Oh, God dang it. I cannot punch you to death. I overestimated my punching abilities. I apologize. Um, well, I'll go to this pistol drizzle right here. Finish you off. Finish off your right zombie buddy right there. Oh, my God. He just tossed you aside like you didn't matter to him. It's okay, zombie. You mattered to me. If I had some vitamin P, I'd spread it all over you right now as a sign of love. But instead, I will take your guys' cards. Please and thank you. <laughs> and, uh, all right. We got one last shotgun rain to go. We're starting to run a little bit low on meds, and our armor's about to break, too. So why don't we hop into this nice set of armor. Let's pick up some of the goods that we got. Yeah, I'll leave the crowbar and stuff behind. And let's try and get through one more wave over here. Shotgun rain! We got some blasts off on those guys. Oh, mom, I probably should have equipped the barrel roll and used that a little bit. That would have been handy. I wish their explosives would freaking blow up on each other too, man. You know, like, come on. These dudes are literally going boom. You're telling me there's no friendly fire? Like, what is this? Team deathmatch in Call of Duty? Non-hardcore? Like, no, bro. Where's the friendly fire? There are explosions going on here. Good God. My good man. One more blue ticket crate, please. That'd be the ultimate Christmas present. And I know that would mean Christmas would come very early. But listen, the holiday cheer. Think of the holiday cheer. Spread some of it. Spread it. Ah! Nope, just a bunch of normal cards. Mm. Uh, why don't we go through? Let's let's blow that. Uh, nah, we'll be good. I don't want to use too much of this shotgun. We used one full shotgun and we got through a good amount of waves. I think we'll be fine with that. I will call it quits there. Thank you for the marvelous cards you have brought to me, game. I appreciate it sincerely. Now, if you excuse me, I got some loot. I got to get out of here, zombie officer. Not trying to deal with you, dog. You're fired. Ooh. Ooh, a key. I'll take that. Oh, we got a hungry chomper coming our way, too. Why are you guys running up on me? Calm yourselves. There's plenty of me to go around. Not for you, though. Oh, that's off limits. And uh, I'll just go ahead for now. I'll just pick up the weapons first and foremost. Probably my number one priority. And uh, what do I want to leave behind? I'll leave the sledgehammer behind for now. You might be like, Star, why do you have the iron hatchets? That's for today's raid. No worries. But uh, yeah, I reckon... Uh, you know what? I'll start picking up the med kits too if we do not have those picked up yet from all this jazz. Let's do that. I gotta pick up these two bad boys too. Let's not forget that. I'll leave the water behind and I'll also leave. I'll put that into there and I will pick up the M16. And uh, oh, I still gotta pick this thing up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave a machete behind. I will come back for it, though. I'm not going to leave no machete behind. Are you crazy? You cray-cray? That's not how it's going to go. But uh, pretty good haul, man. Out of that blue ticket, out of the green tickets. And the fact that, technically speaking, we literally just got another blue and four green ticket crate on boxing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that blue tickets are bad. I'm just saying don't trade up your green tickets for blues because you lose a lot of value. Ten green tickets can get you so much, especially in raw materials for building those gun mods. That I would say if you're collecting tickets, if you get a blue ticket, obviously you can't trade it down or anything, so don't worry about it. But, uh, you know, use the blue ticket, if anything. Just don't trade up to blue tickets. Green tickets get you so much good bang for your buck. And as you guys just saw, we already got four of these bad boys. We got three more in sergeant cards waiting here for us. And sergeant cards aren't exactly the best bulbs in the batch either. So, I don't know, up to you. But we got a zombie horde. We got to go ahead and shoo shoo away and then we have a base raid we gotta go and boom our way into so i'm gonna go ahead uh get these guys to go away and prepare for today's raid and once we get these hatchets added up to our inventory ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the time will be upon us to commence the raid that the raiders have awaiting for us now the question is raiders hey you charles yeah your name's charles now is it not charles i don't care your name's charles to me better better be a good raid waiting for me we'll talk when you finish yeah 
Yeah, we will talk when we finish. You better be sending me towards a super dope raid because as you can tell from my inventory, I am prepared to break into greatness. But the question is, will you give me greatness or will you give me a three by three stone base with a piece of grass in it? The answer better be greatness. Otherwise, we're going to have a little bit of beef there, Sonny Jimbo. Hop. All right, hop. You're missing an eye and I want some pancakes. So what in tarnation's going on? We got to get to the bottom of this. Let's get to entering in. Mr. Hop, uh, what you got in store for me there, buddy? Better be something good here. Yeah? Mm, yeah, eh? Eh? Yeah, Hop, I'm not impressed. You're a very thirsty lad by the looks of it, but that's about all I'm finding out. Ooh. But it appears that you have a stone door and a wi Ooh. I mean, it's not the biggest base, but it's an interesting one. It is definitely an interesting one. What is this? A freaking another steel door? He just has steel doorways, man. It's all that he's rocking. Hmm. Well, well, well. I'm interested in breaking in. Let's break in, shall we? We're gonna need a C4. We came prepared for that. Let's go and grab that and begin getting ready. And for this, as we are doing that, let's go and announce the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Huge congrats to the rarely chosen video from this past week where we managed to open up the new maximum infected chest over in the Sector 7 zones, having some fun times with Fuerza and Happy Sire. Can use congrats to the randomly chosen comment from that randomly chosen video about man William Brown saying you dudes are the real dream team. William, thank you so much. And hopefully a little bit of your dream was able to be fulfilled because you are the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Make sure you go ahead and reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below letting me know the very best way to privately get in touch with you so i can get you the code of your choice whether that be android or ios and also the code of your country because i do need to make sure that it is all oh, freaking safes are you kidding me how many safes are there bruh bruh we have been bamboozled hard wowzers this might be one of the worst raids in the history of raids i have ever had okay there's a shotgun waiting for us at least we have that but Wow. Five chests, man. Is there, uh, some way we could break into these chests in the future? Can I not use my burglar skill? It is locked. Oh, I don't like to hear that. I do not like to hear that. Well, there's our loot for today. My heart is only slightly broken, but hopefully William, man, your heart is feeling a little bit better. Like I'm saying, reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below, letting me know the best way to privately get in touch with you, whether that be like via email, what email address I could contact you at, like Twitter, something like that, because I need to privately contact you. I can't just reply to your comment with the code because then everyone will see the code and they'll be like, ooh, piece of candy. So let me know that and best luck to everyone else in that brand new $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway kicking off today. And best luck to you guys, hopefully finding a better raid than mine because that right there was the raid. This may be one of, if not the shortest raids in my history. That literally took seconds. And we have broken into everything because there's just a ton of safes tormenting us. And I'm not about to... I can't even blow into this if I wanted to. Random little steel room. So, yeah, don't mind me and my heart pain. It's just here hurting a lot. But, uh... I guess with that said and with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day Out of Survival as well. I was expecting this to go on a little bit longer, so... I suppose I'll take my frustrations out on your lamp. Screw your lamp, bro. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, that's right. You guys got to come back and repair his lamp. That's what you get. Freaking look at all. Oh, look at the way I broke that. Look at all the rage going into that bend. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not usually a rageful guy, but I just had to take it out on this lamp over here. It's like a murder movie. Oh, this is too gruesome. I got to take that off camera. But uh, that's going to start wrapping up. Oh, me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.